welcome back to One Startup World, our 2023 uh, summer conference. It's, it's the premier uh, global startup conference dedicated to helping innovative and disruptive startups succeed. It is the perfect platform and meeting place for startup founders to pitch their ideas, gain valuable insights, connect with other like-minded entrepreneurs, um, meet some industry experts, hear from industry experts, but, but possible uh, potential investors as well as partners. All learning from each other as we kind of build our community. Our next section, uh, our session here coming up, is uh, Nicholas Neely. He is the founder and CEO of Wardrick, and he's joining us today from a little bit north of Boston, Amesbury, Massachusetts. Nicholas, welcome to One Startup World. Let me hand it off over to you. Well, hi, Glenn. Thank you so much for having me. Um, and I am thrilled to be here and present uh, my new company today, uh, which is going to be called Wardrick. Um, so uh, I'm thrilled to explain how I believe it's going to be the future of work as we know it. So without further ado, let's get started. Um, so I want to get into the problem. Um, and there is a serious problem going on right now in the private sector. And that is really that uh, companies aren't able to fully harness the complete potential of their employees. And employees are feeling on the other end burnout uh, working in just today's corporate world. Um, it's really kind of a negative, negative situation. Um, and the problem is it's costing companies money and it's costing employees time. Um, so it, to the tune of $300 billion per year in the USA for companies, and then an average of nine hours of overtime a week for employees. Um, additionally, it, each year, companies in the USA are spending an average of $1,252 per employee on training. Um, so really, uh, it's it's sort of a negative, negative situation, as I was describing, uh, where, you know, employees are feeling the burn and companies are feeling it in the wallet. So how do we resolve that problem? Or we're really, we're, we're sort of faced with that, with a question of how do we decrease burnout and training spend while increasing productivity on a mass scale? Well, that's where Wordjik comes in. Um, and Wordjik is going to be a groundbreaking AI-driven work platform for revolutionizing process, project, and team management. Well, how's it going to do that? Wordjik is going to use AI-powered insights to streamline workflows and provide intelligent solutions to problems specific to an organization. So uh, it's not going to be using AI at like just a surface level or you know just to provide. Uh, small insights or small bits of feedback or uh, take care of relatively small components or tasks. It's going to be using the full power of GPT-4 in the background to completely learn your organization, learn your company, and really provide meaningful insights to be able to help your company move forward and actually implement process and project insights that are going to be realistically helpful. So, as we scratch the surface of process and project management, um, Wordjik's going to have process and project management screens that are fully customizable for each unique company environment. So what does that mean? Um, well, think about something like a Squarespace or a Wix page where you're able to completely customize a website from end to end without the need of a developer or without the need of somebody who knows code, but just be able to use uh, templates that are put together reset and build out your website completely. Well, Wordjik's going to have that, the equivalent of that on the process and project management side of the of, of the app. So it's going to use AI insights to, to suggest those insights and actually set up some of those templates for you to be able to really build your operational flow within your company. And then on top of that, it's going to have a cutting edge digital voice assistant that's capable of effortlessly managing intricate tasks. So uh, what I mean by intricate tasks is imagine having a real assistant and giving them a list of tasks to complete by the end of the day. Um, instead of having a real assistant or the need of a real assistant, you're going to be able to assign tasks to this digital assistant, and it'll be able to complete those tasks in minutes rather than having to wait until the end of the day. Uh, the only thing it won't be able to do is get your cup of coffee for you. We're still working on that piece. <laughs> So what market are we looking into or what markets are, will Wordjik be joining? Well, it's going to be joining two very powerful markets. Um, and the first market that's going to be joining is the global digital workplace market. 
And uh, that's currently grow that that currently has a compound annual growth rate of 22.3%, and it's forecasted to grow to 234 billion dollars by 2032. And then the big market, and really the hot topic right now, is the artificial intelligence market um, or AI market, and that's expected to have a compound annual growth rate of 39.1%, with a forecasted market size of 1.8 trillion dollars by year 2032. So I think that that puts this this application in an extremely good spot to be able to capitalize on those two markets. So you've heard about what it can do. You've heard about uh, the markets that we plan to join. Well, what's the timeline of this whole development or building this app? Um, well, Wordjik is a brand new application. Wordjik was just recently formed. Um, it was just recently formed in Q1 of this year. Um, and we've been able, been able to get a lot done in a relatively short period of time. Um, we we were able to form the name, uh, officially file for a trademark, survey over 20 companies, design the complete application from end to end, the branding, and build all of our landing pages and social media pages. But the problem is uh, we're, we've reached a point where in order to go further, we really need to acquire funding. Um, and really the first things that we wanna be able to do once we do acquire funding is to conduct a thorough market analysis. We wanna be able to hire a development team along with the product manager. We wanna start to file for the needed patents to protect the innovative integrity of our application. Uh, we wanna start to initiate the implementation processes for the components that are going to power the back end of this application, such as GPT-4, Hour One, Microsoft, and Google applications. We want to start to build our social media presence so we can really start to create anticipation for when this app does launch. And then we want to complete an early phase testing and coordinate a soft launch. And really what we're targeting, uh, we're, the timeline that we're targeting that initial early phase soft launch is Q3 of 2024, uh, Q3 to Q4 of 2024. Um, and then once we do complete that early phase soft launch to that limited list of clients, we want to start to solicit early client feedback and implement some of the changes uh, that they're suggesting to our final design. Once that's done, we're going to complete final testing and develop troubleshooting ticket processes to eventually go to market by Q2 of 2025. Um, now, as you can imagine, uh, funding could slightly sway this timeline a bit, uh, depending on when it is acquired, um, but this is uh, based off of um, a general estimate of when we anticipate that we are going to get funding behind this. So we've looked at the timeline. Uh, we've heard about what Borgia can do. Well, you're probably wondering, well, how is this application going to make money? Well. I believe that it should be simple. Um, I think, you know, just researching our competitors, it's relatively simple with them. I think it should be the same with us. Um, so Morgic is going to just have three plans, it's going to have an individual plan, a business plan, and a business plus plan. An individual plan is going to be for that sole proprietor or that freelancer. And it's really going to be geared towards that type of user at the price of $25 per user per month where a business plan is going to be geared towards those smaller to medium-sized companies, um, and they're going to be able to take full advantage of our process and project management side of the app. That's going to be at a cost of $30 per user per month. And then you have our business plus plan, which is for those medium-sized to larger companies, 60 employees or more. Um, and that's going to be at a custom pricing model that will be arranged with the company based on its size. So let's discuss the team. Uh, currently, uh, the team is solely comprised of myself. Um, I am founder and CEO. Um, I have an extensive experience in UI and UX design. Um, I've successfully led large teams, uh, on both on the corporate side and even just outside of corporate, uh, just within the past 10 years. Um, and I'm relatively experienced in sales and marketing based on my corporate background. Uh, so really, the team that I'd like to build is a team of four developers and one product manager, um, and that is all pending funding. So what's the ask? 
Well, uh, we're asking for $715,000 in seed funding. Um, and as you can see on the right, uh, that's just a breakdown of where that funding would be going to. Um, you see, have uh, majority of it going to salaries to be able to hire that team that we need in order to build the application. Um, fringe benefits, market research, legal fees, insurance, and utilities. This is really, in my eyes, uh, enough to get this off the ground and moving forward. So you've heard about the application, uh, you know, what we're looking for and the market th that we're targeting. You probably want to see it. So uh, I'd be happy to show it to you. Uh, but before I get into this, uh, I will note that uh, these are just still screenshots of the application. Um, this is not a full working demo. Our demo is actually two weeks out from being completed. Uh, it's a little bit behind just because of uh, trying to get funding behind it and just with how new we are. So uh, th that is two weeks out. Um, however, this is what I have to show so far. So. Uh, this is our insights page for Wergic. Uh, and think of this as your main home page for Wergic, where you can see all of the insights that Wergic is going to be able to give you just right when you jump into the app, uh, which is, you know, you're getting insights about employees, you're getting insights about your processes, you're getting insights about your projects, and AI is jumping in to suggest feedback based on things that it's noticing on the back end. So um, you can see, you know, right off of uh, the, the very first example, uh, you can see our, our example employee, Mike, broke process four times last week. And what's going to be able to happen is when you click on one of these insights, the application is going to give you a choice between reactions and things that you can do to resolve or not resolve the issue. Um, it's it, So think of it as AI is guiding you to notice the problem but you're still ultimately in the captain's chair and making the decisions of what you want to do uh, about the problem, all within one platform. Uh, so in this specific example, you can see that uh, I've used AI to write Mike a note, and I want to find out a little bit more about the situation before I necessarily react to it. So I've been able to do that, and I'm going to send that to Mike. Uh, you notice that everything that is a negative or, or more of a, a, a warning message is highlighted in pink and everything that is uh, something based on bringing productivity improvement or potential improvement to a process or uh, an operation component of your company is highlighted in blue. Uh, that's really just to kind of detract for the difference between the two and help you, the user, understand the difference between uh, something that might need attention sooner rather than later. So if we look towards the right of the screen, you can see the productivity metrics for your entire team. So uh, you can see exactly where everybody is from a, a percentage standpoint. Uh, you have your overall percentage, which is based on uh, your annual productivity for the year. And then you have your increase based on a weekly basis. Um, and you're going to be able to filter the timing of that view so you can understand, or you can filter it however you'd like. If you want it to be on a daily basis, if you want it to be on a weekly basis, it's going to be fully customizable. And then you have some insights related to productivity right underneath. You see productivity increased by 5% over last week, so that's a good sign. Um, you can see that AI found seven ways to improve team productivity, so if you clicked on that, you would be able to go to the AI insight screen and get an, an understanding of exactly what insights uh, AI is suggesting to be able to implement for productivity improvements for your team. Um, and then you see that AI can take over three common tasks to help your team. Uh, so you know, we talk about AI taking over certain uh, specific tasks. Um, and really, the, the reason why it, it's broken down into two separate sections like that is because uh, I view AI as an assistance more than something that should replace the human touch. There are still going to be a lot of processes and procedures that are going to ultimately require that human touch. So let's jump into our project screen. So as you can see, uh, we have a quick view of our project screen. Um, and this is just a quick view. So you're able to jump in and see exactly what's going on with the project in a really uh, quick, quick way. And if you want to make a 
sudden change to a project or if you'd like to add somebody to a project, you're able to do that here. Um, if you want to change the due date of the project, you're able to do that here. You want to see the messages or AI insights all within the click of a button. So moving on, uh, we look at the more popular view. Uh, this is something that uh, is relatively popular with um, the project management systems that are out today. And this is your Kanban view. Uh, this is something that uh, Wurgic will have. It's uh, it, So it's able to be competitive with other project management systems uh, within this type of uh, landscape. Um, however, the step further that Wurgic will be able to take this is Wurgic's going to be able to have those in those AI insights built right into this Kanban view. So you can leverage the power of AI to steer your project in the right direction or understand why there is a delay with something or maybe really get down to the bottom of where the productivity metrics are falling behind with specific employees. So moving on, uh, we can see our process view here. Um, process view is something that's really exciting for Wurgic because Wurgic is not only going to allow you to manage projects from it, it, uh, overall view, you're going to be able to manage processes as well. And this is something that is really lacking uh, today in workforce management systems. There's really nothing out there that, that's that's effective in a way of managing processes to the point of where you're able to build out customized processes without the need of a coder or a developer and seamlessly add people to these processes without having to train them. So you're probably wondering how you do that. How do you how do you how do you add somebody to a process without having to train them? Well, as you can see on the scale section to the very right of the screen, uh, you see that very first project where it says fulfilling new orders. You can see the owner, the time limit of that process. So if you want a process to expire, you can have it expire. Or if you want it to be infinite, this is a permanent process. You can do that as well. Um, you can see the status of that project, and then. Moving over to that scale section where you can see it's currently a process for 168 people. Well, let's say you bring a new hire onto the team and you want to add them to this process. That's where we're going to leverage the power of AI platforms such as AI or such as Hour One to be able to create specific training videos for your organization and a guided feedback walkthrough for that new employee. So when you add them to that process, it's as simple as clicking a button. And on their side, they're getting a full training experience. So it really effectively takes a lot of the time, a lot of the resources out of training where you can just now use a platform for that. And just to kind of cover uh, just the, the rest of the screens uh, that are going to be kind of uh, showcased in the demo, um, if you look over to the left of the screen, you can see the insights tab, you can see the project management tab, you can see the process management tab that we're currently in. Um, there's going to be an, I, an idea board tab, um, and AI, AI is going to be able to post its ideas in that section. You're going to have an AI insights uh, section as well, so if you want to just segregate right down to AI's feedback on everything that your company is doing, you can see that all in one place. You're going to have a messaging platform. You're going to be able to connect your emails to Wurgic. You're going to be able to connect your calendar to Wurgic, store files, and then even have a digital assistant on the very bottom. So really, the idea with this platform is to replace the eight or nine applications that you're using to streamline your work environment with one application. And that's currently where we are. Nicholas, thank you. Great, great job. Nice, nice work to date and best of luck here as you as you continue to move forward in the future. Hey, a couple of quick questions slash observations. Wargic is um, now I'm guessing because we didn't talk about this ahead of time. It's a blend of work and logic or somebody, <laughs> somebody's maiden name. I, I, I don't... Yeah. yeah, no, Wargic is uh, it, it's it's a blend of the way that I view it is the work. Uh, it's a blend of work, logic and magic. Um, so you have Wurgic. <laughs> very good. Very, very good. Now you said 715 on the seed, the seed mm -hmm. uh, financing, and you got the demo coming out in about 
two weeks. So, so you're close, you're close on that, which is great. Um, and you've got the use of proceeds all, all, all spoken for there, some startup costs and some build out costs, which is, which is, which is fine. Hey, one, one question on your timeline, you talked mm -hmm. about 20 companies surveyed. What kind of data did you get from them or what kind of questions did you ask them? Yeah, absolutely. So we surveyed 20 local companies here in the state of Massachusetts. And the kinds of questions that we were asking them is really just trying to get it gauge a level of trust with AI. Um, because something that I've come to find with, uh, with companies' reactions to AI is that they just don't trust it yet. They don't really understand um, you know, how it works completely because it's a relatively new subject. And companies are really sort of on the edge about replacing processes or integrating AI with process with processes. So uh, something that uh, you know we've done is we've kind of gauged the trust of companies with AI. And we've also sort of asked questions that sort of explain a little bit about what Wergic does, but not too much just to uh, you know not necessarily plant the seed in anyone else's head just yet. Um, but just kind of get an understanding of what the trust level of AI is and uh, what we need to do to kind of make it more trustworthy and adaptable for today's workforce. Um, and really that's that's the beauty of Wergic because Wergic is something that it isn't necessarily going to be replacing humans with AI, but it's gonna be kind of implementing AI into those processes and projects so humans can work alongside AI and really kind of manage your processes and optimize your workflow as efficiently as possible. Makes sense, makes sense. I, uh, I like the fact that you talk about that, it, that it's, it's an assistant and it's not replacing. Well, I, I, uh, I, I worked at the New York Stock Exchange for about 18 years and we used to say uh, high tech, high touch. So it's kind of a sounds like you got you got the same kind of same kind of thought process, same kind of element going on, on your side as well. So listen, Nicholas, thank you. We're we're, we're a little tight on time. Terrific presentation. Uh, we wish you the best of luck here going forward. Please stay in touch with us. Let us know how things are going, and how we can be helpful, uh, perhaps in the future. And thank you for uh, your wonderful presentation here at One Startup World. Nicholas Mealy, everybody from Wargic. Thank you very much, Glenn. Take care. Have a nice day. Yeah, you too. Take care. Thanks. Thanks.